All right, all right, all right. Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Manager, is back again for another video in this exciting series, Vue.js Authentication with Auth0. So uh, let's, let's, get, let's get into it pretty quickly here. Quick overview, click recap. We did the overview. We did an outline. We uh, talked about some, um, some setup and ways to set up the project, added some pages and some, some structure that we're going to protect. And, uh, and then I showed the difference between a few of the differences, how I'm going to implement versus the quick start guide. So let's head into the quick start guide and let's, let's actually get into starting the implementation here. And um, so the first thing we're going to do is head over to Auth0. You're going to want to sign up for a, an account. After signing up, you'll be redirected to your dashboard here. And um, it'll walk you through creating your first tenant or just setting up the name of your first tenant. I chose Vue.js-Auth0. A tenant is like a, uh, I look at it as like a company. You can have multiple applications for different reasons within a company. Um, so they, they give you that. And, and Auth0 is smart enough to know that a guy like me, a consultant, is going to have like five different companies. So each tenant, I believe, is uh, is separated. So... Um, you know, this tenant is separated from all my other clients, so they, they won't, um, you know, cross over. But within uh, one of my clients, I might have a couple different applications. Anyway, this project is, is named this, and here's my first application. We'll get into setting that up. First, let's talk about the Auth0 uh, development um, guide again. So let's go back to the Auth0, the developers, click on the single page app, and then we'll tell them we're using Vue. And then we're back to the instructions on how to um, how to install. They uh, they you can log in. Um, I don't know why I'm not logged in because I am logged in, but uh, this must be a separate. Must have to authenticate with their um, their their main website. If you log in, it'll give you the credentials right in um, you know right in the configuration. I think they might show up here or something like that. Um, but anyway. Really, all we need to do in this video is um, we're going to go and see where the application keys are. In the next video, we'll grab them and put them in our application. But right now, we're just going to go see where they are. And then we're going to set up our, our callback URLs. And that's pretty much it for, the, um, for, for this side, the Auth0 management interface side of the implementation. You can see back in the instructions here, after we do the callback, URLs, we get into the integration, which I talked about in the last video. So just those couple things that we need to set up, the, the configure URLs and see where the application keys are. So back here in Auth0 in the management inf interface, in my tenant uh, application, I'm going to find the application. And it starts out as a default app, but we can change that. I clicked on that. And so I'm going to change it to uh, you. Oops, I, you can see I've done this video before. Whoops. Let's do Vue.js with Auth0. That's what's going to show up when they when you click to log in. You'll see that in a bit. Here's that client ID and the domain. We're going to need these two things for our application. I'll show where to put those. We're going to use environment variables. Pretty cool with command uh, Vue CLI3. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that. And then um, we don't need the secret. The secret is if you, I, I'm 99% sure, if, if you want to remotely from another application manage this application so if you wanted to be able to change uh, you know these settings here any any one of these settings uh, you would do that with your client secret so this is going to be exposed to the public this we don't ever want to expose to the public because that means they can log in and, and uh, create all kinds of havoc for us by you know allowing whatever they wanted so these are the two things we're going to get for our application we'll come back and get those probably in the next video but then uh, we're going to skip down. We don't need to do a description. Uh, I don't have a logo for this project, but if you did, you could put it in there. And then um, the application type. This is a single page application. Not sure why that's needed, but we'll just fill that in there. And then the big ones are the callback URLs. So if you recall, when we talked about in the past, I talked about the, the, the sign-on process. So Forget about this side over here. If you look closely, this side just mirrors this side. It's just the same thing. It's just showing you that you can do the same thing from two different domains. But we're not doing that right now. We're just using this for a, for a, a sign-on from a single website. And so let's talk about the process here real quick. The user browses to your website. 
your website, when they click the login button or when they go to a page that's, that's protected, you show them a login button and they click login or sign up and you'll send them over to the auth server, which in this case is auth0. Auth0 will authenticate them through their process and then they will store a cookie that keeps them authenticated on their, their side and then they will redirect the user back to your website and they will send a token along with that. It's in the URL. It's in the uh, yeah in the URL as part of a GET request. We'll talk about that and show that when and how to use that to to um, authentic you know, to to finish the the authentication locally. So that user comes back. Your um, this is that process where it's going to authenticate the person locally and store that token um, in the that's this is seven over here. It's going to store that token in, in, in either uh, cookie storage or local storage. They're basically the same thing. And so that way when the user comes back to your website, you can automatically know that they're logged in by their, um, by their token. Re you'll grab that, that cookie and reauthenticate it and make sure that it's all good. And then you'll allow the user to see content. Now, we're only going to go as far, I believe, uh, I'm only going to go as far in this video series as the front end. Um, so we're just going to allow people to see pages based on whether or not they're logged in. Now the content that actually loads on those pages, we don't actually want to put in our application. That would be a security risk. Um, what, what's actually going to happen is the, the, any content that's, that's specific data will need to be retrieved from, you know, a, a storage server, like a, a cloud, you know, um, you know, Amazon, um, uh, DynamoDB or Google, uh, Firebase or Firestore, uh, you could get the data from there or your own, wherever you store your data, however you want to get it. What you'll do is when you request that data in back into your application, you will send this token into your application server. Your application server will then authenticate um, and make sure that that token is still legit before sending any data back. So um, that's a whole nother process. We're just deciding whether or not a, a user can on the front end get past the, um, you know, the authentication point uh, and, and whether or not they can get into the membership section. So that's as far as I think I'm going to go in this unless there's requests. Um, but that would be a whole nother uh, series of videos. Anyway, so back to this, the, the, the callback URL is, uh, is step five here. So you, the user browses to your site, they click the login button, you send them to the auth server, the auth server authenticates them and then sends them back. This is the URL. The callback URL is the URL that you want them to come back to, uh, that you, that you, um, yeah, want them to come back to and, and that is legal for them to come back to. Now we don't have a domain set up, so I'm just going to put in, um, the local host because you even still need that if you're if you're developing on the local host and our, our development URL is, is uh, localhost8080. And then uh, I'm just going to call the URL. We'll create this. We haven't created it yet, but we'll create a, um, a, URL, you know, a URL called auth0 callback. Um, so that'll be the page that we return to, and this will make sure that it's legitimate. Um, and you'll see that in action in later videos. We're going to skip over web origins. Um, I don't think we're going to have a problem with web origins in this project. This is more, I believe, for that server side contacting where your server server is authenticating uh, a token. Um, and and the logout URL. So not shown uh, not shown here is the logout process. But if we look back to the um, the quick start guide, I'm back on the quick the quick start guide here. If we scroll back down where they talk about integrating into your app, we talked about this in the last video, and we go down to the code. This was the code from the, the, the auth service that we talked about in the last video, and there is a logout function in there. Now, this logout function, I, I, I missed adding this in the previous video, but I don't like the way this logout function works. This logout function does log them out, but if they click log in, Again, they are automatically re-logged back in without having to enter their username and password on the Auth0 website. So we're going to, instead of logging them out locally and then replace, you know, sending them back to a page locally, we're going to log them out locally and then send them to a special Auth0 off-site website 
um, you know, off to back to the auth zero server to clear the cookies on the auth zero side as well before they get returned back to um, to uh, you know our our page. So that's uh, that's really what this this logout URL is for. So we're just going to make that. Um, uh, I'll write this down first and then say it. Um, so we're going to send the user to the Auth0 logout page. Then, then the Auth0 is going to remove their credentials and cookies from their login side and then send it back to our website. And then this is the page we're going to send them. We want them to send it back to that, that we say is legitimate. So I'm just going to send them back to the login page because they'll be logged out. We'll just give them a chance to log back in if they want to. So that's it for the settings here. Uh, we don't need to do anything else. That was all we needed to do was set the, um, you know, we know where to get these credentials, the domain and the client ID. We'll get that in the next video. And then we set the, um, the allowed callback URL and the, log log, the allowed logout URL. We'll need those to pre prevent errors. So we'll click to save those changes. Uh, that'll update and tell us it's been saved. And then, uh, then we can move on and go and get these credentials into our code. We're done with the, uh, the, for the most part, the, the Auth0 side of it. Now there's a lot more that goes on as far as allowing what users to sign up and, and blah, blah, blah. That's not the scope of this. Scope of this is just getting you um, integrated as far as the code goes uh, and your website goes. So um, we'll, call it, we'll, we'll call it the end of the video here and, uh, and we'll move on to the next one. So this has been another dedicated managers technology consulting production. I uh, hope you uh, hope you found it useful. This is the uh, the YouTube site here. Please uh, please subscribe if you like the video. Please leave a comment or click the like button. Every time I get one of those, I throw a little party in my head. Uh, so just know that every time you subscribe or click like on a video, um, I'm dancing around and and, uh, and doing a little shimmy for you. So. Subscribe, follow, comment, that kind of thing. And then if you need any help with any, um, any project work, feel free to contact us uh, for some professional support at the Dedicated Managers website. Just click on that contact button and you can get a hold of us there. Again, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers, signing out. Thanks for listening. Thanks for playing along. We'll see you in the next video.